Hey CFS Warriors, I'm coming to you from Squaw Valley in the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. It has been a gorgeous spring skiing day today and I just wanted to, uh, you know, check in with my Warriors and just encourage you just to never give up. You know, this has been a long journey for me. Uh, I fell ill with CFS it's seven years ago and I can say that I've been on the recovery path for two and a half years. Before that, I was just lost in the illness. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know why my life had been stolen from me. It's been a steady progression over the past two and a half years to where now I'm here in the mountains and I'm gonna do some skiing, and I'm really excited about that. And, uh, but you know, as I look back over the journey, there were just some really deep pits and dark places that I went through. So I just wanna encourage you that if you're in some of those dark places, just to hold on and not to give up on the dream that, that you'll have life again. You know, it's not an easy path, and yet the alternative is nowhere. And I think you know that. It's like there is no alternative. You've gotta keep pushing forward. You know, I had it pretty severe back in the day, uh, it took me a year once I got on the recovery path and began to learn what to do to help uh, restore my health. It took me a year to go from a three minute walk to a 10 minute walk. And so, you know, that was just determination, daily working the recovery path and um, not pushing and crashing and not allowing myself to do that anymore, which I've done for the past four years before I started recovering. So I just want to encourage you to, um, to just hang on and when it gets really tough, just know that you can get to the other side of it. I hope that just being here and seeing that run behind me will encourage you because there were days when just getting up and brushing my teeth was just such a, a, a huge effort and just getting in the shower once or twice a week was, was really a challenge. So I've done a few programs at, through my recovery path that have really helped me. And I just want to encourage you to leave no stone unturned. Just keep moving. Don't, you know, camp out though in whatever you're doing for a while to get every gem from it that you can before moving on to the next. I think it's really wisdom to fit whatever program you're doing to what where your needs are, not try to follow it wholeheartedly in the sense of everything they say, you've got to listen to your body and uh, make sure you adapt it to yourself rather than trying to adapt yourself to the program. So, um, you know, those are just some thoughts. I just, you know, it's just so beautiful here and being out in nature, it's just such a reminder that we were made for life and this world was made for us and that you can get back out in it. And so just find the resources that you need and just hang on in those dark times because you can come through. And to me, this is just kind of a milestone because I haven't been skiing in years. And, you know, um, just being out here again just reminds me that the fight is well worth it. And though I'm still on the recovery path, I've gained great ground. And, you know, a lot of people, it's funny, that are in the recovery path are where I am right now, and they were never really severe. And there are other people that are really severe and maybe just sitting up in bed for a few minutes a day is your next step. So I just want to encourage you to figure out what your next step is and to take that. Um, right now I'm in the reintegration phase, which means I'm expanding, I'm, I'm you know, still needing to pace, still needing to rest, um, still needing to keep calming my nervous system down, but I'm able to manage so much more than I used to, and it's just a steady, incremental improvement. And, uh, you know, so just hang on. When you feel like you're not progressing, you know, it's easy to feel it. I think 80% of the time I felt that I was not progressing. And yet, every about every six months, you can look back and you can really see the progress and how far you've come. And that's really encouraging. So then you go back down into the valley and you got to push through and get to the next mountaintop where you can look back and see how far you've come. So just want to remind you, life is out there. It's not over. So hang in there.